75.9 The Rat, and it's time for a quick sports from Eastside. Dave, Dave, what do you got? Okay, well, what we got is an amazing all-time NBA postseason game that was pure magic in Madison Square Garden last night as the Knicks beat the 76ers in an absolute classic to take game two of their first round series. Knicks 104, Sixers 101. The reason why it was a classic back and forth close game throughout, but the 76ers took the lead late. They were actually up five points with under 40 seconds to go when the Knicks miraculously scored eight unanswered points in the final 28 seconds, Wow! including three pointers from Jalen Brunson, then a crazy wild steal and uh, loose ball situation where guys were diving all over the place. It was a wild play and somehow the ball found Dante DiVincenzo's hands. He hit a three-pointer. That gave the Knicks a one-point lead. Then uh, the Sixers had a chance to take the lead when uh, Tyrese Maxey went in for a layup and uh, Isaiah Hardenstein came up with a huge shot block OG Ananobi hit two free throws. Embiid had a chance to tie with a three, but he missed it, and the Knicks win an amazing game. Doing where, it with defense, too, man. You got like that square, in the NBA. Where Madison Square Garden was lit last night, as the kids would say. The celebs in tow, the place completely sold out. The fans, the place packed to the Raptors. Uh, Knicks legends were uh, in attendance as well. It was just one of those really feel-good nights where everybody was there, everybody was out and about, and the Knicks brought home an amazing, I mean, come-from-behind win that now puts them up two games to none over the Sixers. But Philly now, okay, they're heading back to Philadelphia for Game 3 on Thursday. And, uh, you know, they're not going to just all of a sudden go down quietly and get swept. I mean... Joel Embiid and Tyrese Maxey, 34 points and 35 points, respectively. Those guys were awesome last night, but the Knicks were just better. They play like a team. They are amazing. The, their team unity is really something special. Nice. And this Villanova three, I mean, three guys who played on a team in college that won a national, won two national championships in uh, you know, Jalen Brunson, Josh Hart, and Dante DiVincenzo in all three starting for the Knicks and doing amazing things. It's incredible. So uh, basketball is really on fire. Go check out the Knicks on Thursday. Now, tonight, though, the action continues in Madison Square Garden because the Rangers, are uh, they're playing. They're taking on the Washington Capitals for Game 2 of their first round series. A little harder for me to get excited about the <laughs> Rangers, but all yeah, right. I know. I know. Rangers are up one game to none. The uh, puck drops at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard, of course. So Madison Square Garden is the place to be right now. Baseball. The Yankees lost to the A's yesterday. Two to nothing. Tough break for Yankees starter Carlos Rodon. He threw seven innings of shutout baseball. Only allowed one hit, in fact, but... Unfortunately, uh, the top of the ninth, the Yankee bullpen allowed Oakland to score, and that was that. Weird incident happened just five pitches into the game. Aaron Boone was mistakenly ejected by the home plate umpire for something the fan behind him said. It wasn't even Boone who said anything. He was just sitting there. I saw that. He was looking at his, <laughs> checking his fingernails yeah. uh, while while watching the beginning of the game. Yeah. He got kicked out. He was minding. That was pretty hilarious. Minding his own P's and Q's, just sitting there looking at his nails. And the umpire kicks him out of the game because of what some doofus in a blue shirt said in the stands behind. In the expensive seats. How does that happen? Yeah. Meanwhile, the Mets were defeated by the San Francisco Giants 5-2. to uh, two. Mets starter Jose Quintana. Hunter receives the loss. Phillies shut off the Reds 7-0. Phillies' Cody Clemens hit his first home run of the season. And football, the Jets have finally traded away Zach Wilson. Oh, what do we get for it? No more. You got, got a bag, a bag of, of donuts. Bag of donuts. All right, You got it. a nice big bag. No, you got, a, you got uh, some kind of seventh round pick or something. <laughs> That's about what he's worth. You don't really care. It's a really it's about getting the albatross, which is Zach Wilson. 
off the team. The page has been turned. Sometimes guys just, uh, after a while, they just bring in that bad juju. You just don't even want to see them on a team. They kind of represent a failed era of that team, you know? You cannot throw a pass to the screen, yeah. so, so what the hell? So that's the uh, deal. The uh, It's finally done. He's going to the Broncos. And uh, like I said, Jets will be. And in true Jets fashion, he'll probably do really, really <laughs> well when he plays next for the Broncos. Well, I'll, I don't know. We'll see. Jets will receive a sixth round selection. Um, and the Broncos will receive a seventh round selection in addition to Wilson. And the Jets and Broncos will split the five and a half million dollars Wilson is due this season. And that's your quick look at sports. Look out, man. The thousand.